All right, so here we go. We're set up for a solo game of Nemesis Lockdown. All right, I am uh, playing true solo with uh, only a single character. I'm not doing any uh, additional characters um, to play to, you know, to use the cooperative rules. The cool thing with Nemesis Lockdown though is that co-op and solo both require just a slight adjustment to the standard game rules. Uh, so one of them is that they use different objectives than the regular ones. These are obviously solo co-op objectives. Uh, and I have two right now, by the way, and I'll have to choose one at a certain point in the game. Uh, what I've got, I've got Alien Compendium. All intruder weaknesses must be discovered. The game starts with one out of three already discovered, so I'd have to discover two more. The other one is Unconventional Medicine. Finish the game with an intruder carcass object. All right, so we'll have to uh, see which one of those is going to be the better one. I am playing as the survivor, okay, starting down here in the isolation room. The cool thing with the survivor is that she does start with three knowledge, and so that that lets me go ahead and I'm already able to use the first weakness that we've discovered, which is fragile endoskeleton. Any classic and melee weapon attack that deals at least one injury deals one additional injury. Now that doesn't help me a whole lot because I my I mean it will at the beginning, but once I get my assault rifle, that does the same thing. To get the assault rifle, I have to make it all the way up here to the repository, and then I flip this over. It has five ammo. Each time you deal at least one injury, deal one additional injury. So it does the same thing as the current weakness that we know about. The two contingencies that I have revealed already are kill all who did not send the signal. And there are only two of those in the game. So I know for sure that's not what the active contingency is going to be. Uh, but, you know, I still have the possibility that the, the corporate might show up and kill all in the isolation room. Uh, or they might kill all who have four or less knowledge. Save all. Isolation room, bunker, and CSS pods are safe. So that one's possible. Or kill all in the CSS, or CSS pods. So I, I'm going to have to find out what some more of these are to try to figure out where the safe, pl safe place is for me to evacuate. Uh, the places that have power right now are level one has power, level two, or the elevator has power, level two and three. Three are out of power right now. Probably want to work my way over to the backup power supply initially and turn that on. That's usually, well, maybe. Yeah, I probably do want to do that because that that will help. Uh, th this power right here, the elevator power is going to go out immediately after the first turn. Every time you cross one of these thresholds. So the get the backup power supply on might be the best first move. We'll see. The other thing, the other first move would be to work my way up to the repository, get my assault rifle, and then worry about backup power. Uh, of course, I'm, that means I'm going all the way up and then coming back down. All right. So first things first, gotta draw five cards. Let's see, we've got interruption, search, distraction, and repairs and search again. All right. So I think I think I am going to work towards Oh man, I really think the power is just one of the most important things. Last time I played as a survivor, I didn't get my rifle until relatively late in the game and that really kind of hurt me, but I think we're still going to go for the backup power supply. All right. So I have to discard one card for, we'll discard repairs to move, move here. All right, we've got the defense control room and it's going to have three items in it, except we're playing, we're playing solo, so you have to divide the number of items by two, uh, round it up, so that'll have two items in it. And a door closes behind me. Then we got to make a noise roll. No noise. That's good. Okay. All right. The defense control room. I can spend two 
two action points to reduce the item counter by one uh, or place a malfunction marker in the room, then choose a room without a malfunction marker and with an intruder. Place a malfunction marker in that room. All intruders in that room suffer one injury and each character in that room suffers one serious wound. All right, so you know what? This is a military, as you see it's a red room military. So I am going to go ahead and search while I'm in there. So reduce the item counter by one. And then I draw two for the military deck. We've got glow stick, ignore the darkness effect for you or with knowledge three, which I do have, discard this card during at your melee action instead of getting a contamination card and rolling a combat die the target of this action suffers one injury or the weapon battery one use only add three ammo to your energy weapon or if you're in a room with a computer and in a section without power use a computer action oh that's pretty cool what are our computer actions right now which this room has a computer so i could Choose one room, discard a fire marker from that room. If there is one, all intruders in the room retreat or swap two chosen power tokens or peek at all contingencies of any other player in the same section as you were in. Well, there's no other player, so don't worry about that. And I'm gonna take the, uh, the weapon battery. All right, so normally after two actions, then we move on to the, to the next player, but there's no other players, so I get to keep going with my actions. Uh, so, I think we will move on to the next room. Do I want to do a computer action? It would just, the one with swapping power tokens be the one I want to do. Yeah, you know what? Since I'm going to be down here for at least a couple more turns, let's go ahead and we will use interruption, but not for its ability, but just because to use a computer takes one card. We're going to use uh, we have to use the weapon battery to do it, so we discard that. All right, and we're going to use the second option here, swap two chosen power tokens. So we're going to bring power token one down here and put power token four up there for now. So now we have power down here, which is good. This gets shuffled back or goes to the bottom. It, it gets discarded. The next one is, uh oh lockdown. When a player reveals this card, they place a malfunction marker in their room. Reshuffle the computer deck, including the discard pile. All right. And now malfunction markers, if we ever run out of them, we have 10. If we run out and have to place an 11th, then the facility blows up, basically. All right, we ended up with uh, computer action C on top again, so same thing. All right, now let's go ahead and continue. We're going to move to this room. We've got the laboratory. That's good. It took forever to find that one last time. It's got one item in it. And a door closes behind me again. And for noise, in a corridor one. So if you ever have to put a second noise token in a corridor, then that's when an, an encounter happens. All right, I think I will go ahead and search in there. So that's a green room, so we're searching for medical supplies. We've got the scalpel. One chosen character, including yourself, in the room you are in removes a larva from their character board. If they do, they suffer one serious wound. Or one chosen intruder in the room you are in suffers one injury. Get one contamination card. Or we have the medical stapler, one use only, dress one serious wound, or heal all light wounds. Let's take the medical stapler because chances are we'll end up with some Serious wounds. That's what killed me the last time I played. So we're gonna take the medical stapler. And oh, and that of course means there's no items left in that room. You can see this one is also a spot we could use a computer if we wanted to. Oh, and also the, the other thing the laboratory does is that's where you can research. So for two cards, uh, this action may only be performed if one of the following objects is in the room. 
Uh, so I've got to have the intruder carcass, a character corpse, or an egg. Uh, gain three knowledge by doing this, and the object is placed. Basically, this is how you research weaknesses. But you all, and you get three knowledge, and you discover a new weakness. Uh, normally, a character corpse could be used, but obviously, there's only one character, uh, me, and so it'll be either an intruder carcass or an egg uh, that I would have to do. All right, so that is the end of my turn. I'm out of cards. So now we move this. Uh, well, we would launch a CSS, CSS pod if it was on one of those tokens, but it's not. So we move the tab token down. We lose power in the elevator because we cross that threshold. We remove noise from, since we have power down here, the noise gets removed. Intruder attack, fire damage, none of that matters. Resolve event. Coolant leak. If there is a malfunction marker in the cooling system, start the auto destruction, auto destruction sequence. If not, place a malfunction marker there. Remove this event from the game and shuffle the events deck. All right. We don't have the cooling system out yet, so we don't have to worry about that one. All right, so we go ahead and draw five cards. And we are going to go ahead and move directly to the backup power supply. Discard a card. Move here. And we will pay two cards to activate that. And that lets us do three things. So immediately, you, one and two are activated. One obviously already is. I can then rearrange them however I want. And we're getting ready to leave this section. So I'm actually going to put one back up here because I want this section to stay powered because I'm trying to get to the repository. I'll put four here. Um, I think I'm not going to use the elevator. I'll just climb the stairs. And so we'll, we'll put this power at level two for now. And then finally we flip this over. And what this means is that with this being active, when it crosses a red threshold, it doesn't affect power. Only when it crosses a blue threshold is power affected. And I actually like both cards that I have right now. So I'm going to... I'm going to end the round right there. I'm going to keep these two cards. Well, no, you know what? Let's let's move one time. I will go ahead and use Demolition and move. But I'm definitely keeping Vents. I, I like that card. Um, we're going to move there. Obviously, no room to flip over. We do have to do a noise roll, though. One. Goes right there. All right. So move the time token. Noise removal. This doesn't get removed because level three is no longer powered. Got to resolve an event card. We've got fire in the hole. Place a fire marker in the cargo sending system rooms A, B, and C. Each character there with no action cards on hand suffers one serious wound. Well, there's those are not revealed yet, so we, we can't do that. So we don't have to worry about that. I just remember, we, we actually forgot about... So at the end of the last round, we should have done bag development as well. So we'll do it twice here. Uh, we've got a creeper token, which means... Remove this token from the intruder bag and add one breeder token to the intruder bag. Well, that's not good. And now we gotta do it one more time for the end of this round. Oh, the queen, what does that mean? Return this token to the bag. If there is a character in the nest, place the queen miniature there and resolve an encounter. If there are no characters in the nest, place one egg token in the nest. Okay, all right, so just the, so the queen laid an egg basically, so there's six eggs in the nest now. All right, so now we draw back up to five. All right, we're gonna move up the stairway. So this is a staircase to here. All right, hopefully don't roll a one, four, okay. Maybe I should have taken the stairs or taken the elevator. We're gonna move again. Nope. 
No sound, that's good. Move again. Danger. All right, so if there were a alien in an adjacent room, it would move into my room. There's not, so instead there's noise in every room connected to mine. So for my last move, I'm actually going to do careful movement. So that takes two cards. Careful movement. This will be my last move for the round. Let's move here. So now instead of rolling for noise, I choose where the noise goes. So we'll just put it there. That's the end of my turn. Or of the round. Uh, we're going to go with, um, let's see, we got to move that. All right. And noise removal. So removal from here, 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 and here. No, uh, yeah, and here because these sections are powered. Event card. We've got lurking. Remove from the board all intruders which are not in a room with a character. Put their respective tokens into the retruder bag. And if it, we were in the dark, each intruder in combat would attack. All right, and then. Develop the bag. Got an adult, which means I make a noise roll. Four. Okay. All right, so we're going to move. We will. Move here. Oh. We've got the oh the contaminated room. I don't even I've never seen this room before. We've got four, so that's two right there. And the room's on fire. That's not great. Gain slime when searching. Okay, so as long as I don't search in there, I don't gain slime. I'm good with that. I'm not going to search. Let's move on, especially since the room's on fire. Oh, I did do a, I did do a noise roll. Three. So it's in. So this is like a technical corridor, is what it's called. It's basically vent shaft stuff like that. I can go through there with certain cards. Uh, the the vent card I, that I had before actually lets me do that. But all right, so now we're going to move. Very discarded. So we're going to go down here to the repository. And now for one card, we get our assault rifle. There we go. All right, so now we have five ammo on it. So now we really got to start focusing on completing our one of these objectives. Out of the two of these, I think finish the game with an intruder carcass object is probably the easiest. So, but what we really more important is going to be figuring out what that contingency is. All right, so let's go ahead and move here. See what this room is. Did we do? We didn't. We forgot a noise roll again, didn't we? One, so there was noise here. All right, and now for this move, let's see what this is. Vent control room with one item in it. The vent control room lets you uh, deal with fire and also basically you can vent a room. So you can kill, kill fire that way. You also kill a intruder that way. I had a door slam shut behind me. And then let's go ahead and search the room, see what we can find in here before the end of the round. Duct tape, uh, discard a malfunction marker from the room you are in, or use it to add one heavy item to one heavy item in your character's hand, effectively carrying two heavy items in one hand. Or the tool belt, discard a malfunction marker in the room you're in, or open or close one door in a corridor you're connected to the room you're in. I'm gonna take the tool belt. And that's the end of the round. All right, so we move this. All right, that does trigger. This zone now is in darkness. 
noise removal from my level. Not not technical corridors, they don't have noise removal. Oh my gosh, I, I'm real bad about this. I forgot to do noise roll again, so it was here, but so that does get removed though, so it's already gone now. If there was an intruder in this room, they would take damage from the fire. Obviously there's not. So let's resolve an event card. Blood Trace. In each section, move each intruder that is not in combat to a room with a character who has any undressed serious wounds and no action cards on hand. If there are several rooms to choose from, move the intruder to the room with the lowest numbered, with the lowest room number. Well, there's no intruders on the board, so don't have to worry about that. Bag development. That's the blank one. So nothing happens this time, but we return this to the bag and add an adult to the bag. All right, so I don't like this, but I'm gonna have to use pretty much my entire move to my entire turn to move again. Probably not doing this the most efficient way possible. So we'll move here, roll for noise. Oh, that's not good. That's gonna make this next move tricky, but we're gonna do it. Move here. Three, okay, here we go. We've got our first encounter. So first thing we do is we draw from the bag to see what alien we're gonna encounter. We've got an adult. All right, then we uh, need to compare the back here. So we are in darkness here. Oh wait, yeah, we're, these sections are always in darkness. The corridors are not, but the stairwell itself is so if I have, I have less than four cards in my hand, which means he does a sneak attack on me. So he's gonna attack right now. All right, Night Stalker attack. This works only for creepers, so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, he basically his attack misses. So now that I do have one of these, I feel like I should go ahead and try to take him down because, I mean, it's not great that I'm fighting him in the dark. But if I if I manage to get a uh, intruder carcass, I need an intruder carcass either way. I either need it for unconventional medicine or for the alien compendium uh, objective. And by the way, I've had I need to go ahead and choose now because it's my first encounter. So, I you know what I'm gonna go with unconventional medicine. You wouldn't believe how much I can get for their powdered body parts. All right, so I'm going to try to finish the game with an intruder carcass. Discard the other objective. Let's go ahead and shoot at it. All right, so since we're in the dark, I use the red die. Nothing. Unbelievable. It's the only blank side on that die. All right, well, let's shoot at it. Uh, that took one, one ammo. Let's shoot at it again. That, I don't believe, does anything because he is an adult. So now the question is, after failing to injure it twice, do I try to shoot again? I'm down to three ammo. Or do I run? I have this card that actually will let me escape without him getting an attack on me. Yeah, we'll go ahead. We're going to escape him and then... Hopefully encounter him in the light or encounter a smaller alien that I can kill easier. Or I could... Oh, 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 I know what we can do. So we're going to we're gonna use distraction. We have to discard one of our items. We'll discard the tool belt. Uh, actually, no. I was saying I could try to vent him, but in this room he would... I mean, he's going to move no matter what, and he'll break one of the doors, and the event won't happen. And there's a small chance he doesn't move, but I'm not going to risk it. I'm just going to move down here and keep searching rooms. So by discarding that item, I basically made it so he's not going to attack me. I distracted him with it. Move here. I still have to do a noise roll. Four. Okay. 
And and that's the end of the round for me. So that moves down. Noise removal from here. The intruder would attack me if we were still in the same room. We're not obviously fire damage. Resolve an event card. All right, an adult will move through. Oh, he's coming directly at me. All right. And then open all doors except destroyed doors. So these doors come off the board. And then in the dark, place a noise marker in each corridor without a noise marker connected to a room with a character. This is called bulkheads open. All right, and then develop the bag. Larva, that turns into an adult. All right, so let's go ahead and fight him again. Make sure y'all can see him. We've got three ammo left. We will shoot at him. Come on. Oh my God. All right. We will shoot at him again. There we go. So I think these stack. Anytime you deal at least one injury, deal one additional injury because of my assault rifle, and then also the fragile endoskeleton, any, any classic and melee weapon attack that deals at least one injury deals one additional injury. So yeah, so I think that's three injuries I just dealt him. So he's at three. So now we draw the Night Stalker attack. We just look at this. Two, he is dead. Basically, if that number is lower than the injury, then he's dead. So there's the Carcass Token. We'll definitely spend one card to pick up the Carcass Token. All right, now we... Really, it might be worth taking that all the way back down to the lab. Well, no, we, we need to hold on to that. Because we need to finish the... So now what we got to focus on, we don't need to focus on anything other than figuring out what that contingency is. So we gotta find the right room for that. So let's move to this room. Should we do a careful move? Yeah, let's do a careful move for now. All right. So we found the, oh, we found the nest. All right, and oh boy. So that causes there to be noise everywhere anyway. All right, and yeah. Okay, oh, the character who explored this room gains uh, one knowledge. So foreknowledge, and I could take a, an egg. We'll just put it here in this room though, because I already have the carcass and that's what I'm carrying around. Okay, so the, the archive, by the way, is the room I'm looking for. It's gonna be one of the uh, number one labeled rooms. So we're definitely gonna be making our way through those. But first, let's go in and finish this round. So all CSS pods launched, so if I had been in any of them, I would have launched at this point. Now this moves. Noise removal, nope. Intruder attack, fire damage, resolve event card. Blue screen, place a malfunction marker in the explored room with a computer and the lowest room number in a section with power. None, this is the only section with power. None of those are computer rooms, so this doesn't happen. Remove this event from the game and reshuffle the event deck. All right, let's develop the bag. And adults, we gotta make a noise roll. That's not good. It doesn't matter what we roll, a bad guy shows up. All right. So who are we encountering? Oh, nice, a larva. That's not bad. So this little guy shows up. Oh, but he gets a sneak attack because I have no cards in my hand. 
Uh, he does not attack. It would have to be a creeper or above. All right. Or he attacks, but he misses is really what that means. Okay. All right. Also, I forgot the alert room lets me look at contingency tokens too. So that's definitely where we're going. We're going to escape this dude. Not too worried about him attacking me. Definitely not going to use my final, my final ammo on him. We are going to move here, but before, and actually we're going to do, we're, we're going to do a uh, careful. Can we do a careful move if we're under attack? No, if we're in combat, we cannot do careful movement. So I have to do regular movement. Um, he gets a shot at me, but nope, that would only be the queen would do that uh, attack. So his attack misses. I move here. Oh, cool. A door closes behind me, too. We found the testing lab. If we have knowledge four, which we do, we can get the neutralizer. I wonder what the neutralizer does. Noise roll. Three. Okay. So the neutralizer, I can spend one. So when you only scan all cards in your action deck, hand and discard pile, remove all infected cards and larva if you have one, then shuffle all your action cards, including those in your hand. After that, you must pass. Yeah, that's worth having. So I'll discard two cards and get the neutralizer. All right, and then we will use careful movement to move here, which then lets us choose where the noise token goes. All right, so that those are all my cards. That's the end of the round. So that moves. Oh, and we're in eight. We're, we're in the white section here, so the isolation room opens up. Now the we resolve the event. The larva stays where it is. Bulkheads open. Open all doors except destroyed doors. And then place a noise marker in each corridor without a noise marker connected to a room with a character. Not great, but we'll deal with it. Develop the bag. Oops. It's an adult. All right, so all that would do is add... Is, oh no, that's not good because now I have to do a noise roll. Doesn't matter what I roll, bad guy's showing up again. This time it is another larva. Wow. Uh, and he's going to get an attack on me. So he attacks and he misses. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I can still do room actions even with him in there with me. But let's go and take this guy out. And I'm, I'm not going to use my assault weapon. I'm just going to melee attack. So when I decide to melee attack, first thing I have to do is draw a contamination card. So one of those is now in my deck. So the one danger of melee attack is if I roll the miss, I get a serious wound. So hopefully that doesn't happen. Oh my god. Oh my god. So, serious wound. My hand, the cost of all your item actions is increased by one. Well, I'm not letting this larva take me out. This is ridiculous. So I'm attacking again. Which means I get another contamination card. Not to worry about that because I have the neutralizer. So, we're okay there. There we go. Now he's dead. Okay. Now that that's done, we're going to spend two cards... Well, actually, first, man, that took more time than I than it should have. Uh, yeah, we'll spend two cards to look at this contingency. So kill all in the isolation room, and there's only one of those, right? Yeah. So now I know for sure the isolation room is safe. So I'm gonna make my way down there. So rather than stick around here. We'll go ahead and move. We've got decon room, perform a decontamination procedure. It's got one item and it's on fire. 
Not good. Not good. Because I have no more cards. I have to end my turn there. Let's make a noise roll. Three. Okay. So, so ending my turn in fire only gives me one light wound. So, uh, so we just have that light wound there. Basically, the way light wounds work is every third light wound causes a serious injury or a serious wound. Also, the decon room lets me spend two cards to scan all contamination cards in my hand and then remove all infected cards. If you have a larva in your character board, I can remove it as well. And if you have slime on your character board, you can remove it. All right. So, CSS launch, no launch, which doesn't really matter for me now because I'm making my way to the isolation room regardless. Move that. Noise removal, no, don't need to worry about that. Intruder attack, no. Oh, well, uh, we do have to draw, no. No, that's right, that's for the event. Fire damage uh, for intruders, but no intruders are in fire. And then resolve an event card. The larva does move. It's going to move. So you can see there's a larva symbol. has number three, so it moves this way through the three corridor into the elevator. Then damage. Place a malfunction marker in each room with an adult intruder, a breeder, or a queen that's nowhere. Place a malfunction marker in each room with a character. So now the decon room is down, even if I wanted to use it, and it's on fire. All right, and then we do the bag. An adult, oh boy, here we go. Gotta roll for noise. A two, that's, whoo, that's exactly what I needed. Okay. All right, so one of the cards I drew is a contamination card, which is basically useless. It just takes up room in my hand. All right, so I will use Obstinate to draw one card for each serious wound. So, so what I really want is I wanted, wanted Vent, but I don't have. I didn't get that either. I end up picking up Distraction. I will discard Distraction and or actually I'll discard. Interruption and go over here. We've got the power generator. Ooh, very cool. And it's got one item. Ah, but it's it's broken, it's malfunctioning. Noise, a one. Oh, but check it out, here we go, okay. So, power generator room lets you power a section. Or stop the auto destruction sequence. The thing is, I'm about to leave this section, so I don't really care, because I have to power the section I'm in. So I don't think it's worth it because I'm getting ready to head out. So I'm not going to waste my time doing that because I have to repair the room and then power it. So instead, I'm just going to... Do I even want to search it? I don't think I do. I don't think I do. Uh, all right, so we're just going to move, move on now that we kind of have things figured out here. So we're going to move down here. Roll for noise. And then I will do a careful movement just to make sure we don't get ourselves in trouble here. Down here. The cooling system has one item and it's malfunctioning. All right, so that's the end of the round. That moves down. Event. Hatching. Discard one egg from the nest. Each character in the nest with no action cards on hand is infested. If no character was infested, put a larva token into the intruder bag. And then in the dark, each character outside the nest with no action cards on hand is infested. Oh, God. 
So I've basically put a larva token on my board. And what that means is if I get infested again, I die. It's basically the chest burster from Alien is kind of the way I think that works. All right, let's develop the bag. The breeder. We turn this token to the intruder bag, perform a noise roll. All right, so I'm going to do, I'm not gonna worry about careful movement. Actually, yeah, I'm gonna do careful movement. So careful movement to here, all right? And I'll put it there. Now, here's the thing. I could go ahead and lock myself in the isolation room, but if I'm infected, there's a good chance that I'll end up dying anyway. So instead, I'm going to use the neutralizer. Normally, it costs one, but because of my serious injury, it's going to cost me two. So now it says scan all cards in your action deck, hand and discard pile, remove all infected cards. All right, so let's see. We've got that one and that one. All right, so this one is infected, so it gets removed. And this one is not infected, so it stays in my deck, but shouldn't be a problem. Now I'm out of cards, so we gotta go through one more round. B pods are launched, that moves down. We lose power up here. We've gotta resolve an event. The, no, the larva don't move. Nest, if the nest is explored, place a noise marker in each corridor without a noise marker connected to the nest. Uh, in the dark, place a noise marker in each corridor without a noise marker connected to a room with a character. Now that probably is not gonna matter too much. To the bag. A larva, all right, so that just becomes an adult. Now we'll spend two to lock ourselves in the isolation room. And yeah, that's, I mean, that's it. So we go on to, basically this goes all the way to the end. We go to victory check, contingency, save all, look at that. All right, and then we know that we're not infected because we just checked it, and so we won the game because we did finish the game with an intruder carcass object.